one new patch with two new heroes a little bit of adjustment let's check them out hello everyone i know you guys miss me i'm back again so this is shinobi once again with another awaken chaos era video so we're going to look at the two new heroes and of course the rift of chaos has been nerfed a little bit i have tested it out it seems like they did nerf out the damage of the bosses in uh, rift of chaos the only issue there is that they have they are yet to reduce the speed of the boss that's the most important part that they need to reduce and if they are doing that then rift of chaos will become playable a, a lot more playable but at this point of time the damage has been reduced by a lot so it will help us out in finishing off rift of chaos at at higher levels um i'll be testing those out later on but today we are only going to talk about the two new heroes so yeah i've got the two new heroes to test of course they are temporary copies uh, i will be doing tests on them they have tomorrow and the day after tomorrow tomorrow i'll be summoning for atara so do not miss out on that video that video is going to come in tomorrow okay uh, because the event is going to start from tomorrow right so her summoning event where uh, in 200 shards you're going to get get her for guaranteed and i never miss that out i never miss such events i already have around 130 or so um shards saved and i've got plenty of diamonds to get the rest of the shards so yeah i'll be summoning that tomorrow so do not miss that out so let's look at these two new heroes and see are they good but the testing of them will be done day after tomorrow onwards i'll be testing them in various areas and i'll be posting my videos day after tomorrow tomorrow summoning video today the first look on atara and naya okay so we have a very very cool looking hero over here naya she's supposed to be an offense hero but she's more defense based she's got a a tier attack a b tier health and s tier defense but her defense the base defense 841 does not look like you know as high as that of hackrin hackrin's defense is around 1068 base uh so i think like her defense is not that cool as hackrin's but she, then she's an offense hero but even then her attack is not like s tier because they are more uh, reliant on their defense to do the damage okay so as far as uh, naya is concerned she has got a really really cool trait which is that she cannot do any critical hit that's a really cool thing to happen right she cannot do critical hit but at the same time at the start of the battle she gains a 90 percent defense ps according to this hero's defense so according to her defense she's going to gain a defense ps now that defense PS, uh, defense PS can range between 10 to 90%. Okay, whatever that may be, whatever calculation they are using. So you'll have to stack defense on her to gain that defense PS, which is almost equal to that of, you know, ignoring 90% of the enemy's defense, right? And if she's ascended, she's also going to gain a uh, shield, but that shield is going to be only for two turns. I'm saying this because on the first unascended, it does not uh show any kind of um you know cooldown on it so it should be permanent kind of thing that's what i'm thinking okay i'll have to test her out a lot more to find out if that's how it is working or not but her ignoring 90 percent of defense is really good that is almost equal to 90 percent of crit damage okay so i think like even if she's not doing any crit hits she's certainly going to gain more damage because of that defense ps so as far as her uh, um basic is concerned tsunami spear okay it deals 150 percent damage to one enemy and she gains immune for two turns that is a really really good buff to get on a basic as far as a um as far as a special is concerned she uh, steals shield on one enemy and deals them 150 percent damage plus 100 percent of this hero's remaining shield strength up to 600 percent damage so she's going to deal 150 percent damage which is including that you know 
which uh, certainly will be ignoring 90% of the defense if you are able to stack that much of defense on her and or above that she's going to deal 100% bonus damage based on her shield if she's got a massive shield she is going to deal six, up to 600% damage and when an enemy applies shield she immediately launches a counter attack counter attack with this ability up to one time per round so she, this looks really really cool for queen of tides uh, but then i don't know how much of damage she's going to deal on queen of tides but anyway she's going to steal that shield take it onto herself as soon as the queen of tides places her shield on herself she's going to counter attack steal that shield uh, and then going to deal damage 150 percent of her own damage and based on what kind of how much of shield she's going to get she's going to deal up to 600 percent damage that's going to be a massive amount of damage unfortunately again she's not going to crit but at least she's going to ignore nine up to 90 percent of defense then her ultimate it removes all positive effects on one enemy deals them 280 percent damage and gains shield equal to 30 percent of max H max health for two turns if one or more positive effects are removed apply silence to the enemy for one turn this skill because it's not on the trade and she's not going to do every round uh, this is not what i would say something that can be replacing rachel uh, in Queen of Tides, but certainly this skill looks really, really interesting. And hopefully, if you do not have, why, why would you not have Natalia? Natalia is an epic, right? So instead of Natalia, uh, you are not going to use this one. Okay, you're not. So you're certainly not going to use this one. But then you can also use her as part of the team of Natalia, Rachel, and uh, and uh, you know Naya and then one more hero so that they can go in and deal the damage on the boss remove the buffs and also deal those extra damages and possibly place silence on the minions if possible because she's going to but then she's only going to attack one enemy my bad okay so she's not going to place uh, silence on the queen but at least you will be able to remove the shield you will be able to remove the positive effects which both rachel can do okay even rachel can do that so it's going to be interesting testing her out in queen of tides in, in other places and of course in uh you know rift of chaos and in uh maybe in arena and see how she's going to work but i think atara skills are much more cooler than her her skill and let's check out atara so here is atara of course she's the queen of spiders all right she looks really really cool again a very cool design i like the design the, the aesthetics of this hero and hopefully her skills are also going to be just as good okay she again has got an s tier defense again her defense is not as much as that of akron i'd prefer that her defense was almost equal to or even possible more than that of Hakrin, then it would have been much more better. She's got only 928 defense. Again, Hakrin has got 1068 defense. So her defense is less than that of Hakrin. Uh, she's got uh, an A tier attack, a B tier health, a B tier speed, 109 speed. Again, pretty low speed, pretty low crit rate. So let's quickly look at her skills and see how that goes. Okay, so as far as her trade is concerned, Silent Hunter at the start of the turn removes one negative effect on this hero so whenever she starts her turn she's going to remove one negative effect on herself with a two round cooldown if one or more negative effect are removed immediately removes one negative effect on each ally so she is going to be a really good cleanser in drift of chaos which is going to remove a negative effect at the start of the turn but that's only got that's got that's on a two turn cooldown of course if you're able to ascend her you'll be able to do that every single round i hope i can get a couple of copies of her and i don't know how many ascension copies probably five ascension copies but at the same oh yeah reach us in five to en enhance your trade yeah of course so you'll require five copies of her to get that trait on her so that she can remove the debuffs every single round but if you are able to ascend her she is going to replace quite uh, some other hero who, who you require to you know cleanse yourself so in rift of chaos she's going to be really really good so if one of more uh, negative effect is removed from her, she's going to remove negative effect from everybody. That's just one negative effect. And it, she also increases all team members' defense by 20% of this hero's 
defense. So she's got the trait of Hakrin. Okay, so that trait is what I want uh, the defense for. You know, the defense should have been equal to that of Hakrin. Then if that was there, then you can just stack up defense on her just like in Hakrin, and that defense is going to help out everybody. But at the same time, even though her defense is slightly less than Hakrin, this trade and her cleanse, both of them are going to be really good in Drift of Chaos. That's for certain. That's for certain, okay? She's going to be really, really good there. So we'll be testing her out in Drift of Chaos pretty soon. Okay, not in this video, in my next video. So her basic hunting dance, it deals 120% damage to one enemy. Damage scales with this character's defense. That's a really good thing. I like that. This is going to scale with her defense. So you can really stack defense on her. Her second skill, special, Venomous Trap, it deals 150% damage to one enemy and increases all stat reduction effects duration on them by one turn. So she's her special, which is on a two turn cooldown. She's going to do the job of, you know, Abaddon. She's going to increase uh, the duration of the stat reduction effects on the enemy by one turn, even though it's going to be like it's got a two turn cooldown. Okay, but that's fine. She's going to do that every other round. And by that time, you should be able to deal a lot more damage on the boss. Right, so that's her special. And then we have got her ultimate. It deals true damage equal to 600% of this hero's defense to all enemies and applies attack down to them for two turns. Damage is evenly distributed across all enemies. Now, this is the single line that I did not really like because she's only dealing true damage. She's not dealing any other damage, right? So she's dealing true damage. And I think like it should be applied as 600% to all enemies or you can just simply reduce it and say 400 percent or 500 percent to all enemy that would have been much better description right uh, but then the damage is going to be evenly distributed to all enemies so it's only going to be more effective on bosses on single targets rather than on as to be treated as an aoe skill because that damage when distributed is going to be pretty low okay so i'd prefer that that damage comes in more or she's also able to deal uh, uh you know the additional crit damage on the uh, on the enemy then that will be fine okay and she also is able to apply attack down two to the primary target for two turns so you can give her a lot of defense a little bit of focus ensure that these things comes through and she's also going to cleanse so her skills are really really good for rift of chaos that's where she's going to uh, shine you know uh, and she's also able to increase the team members focus um by 25 percent and, and, and it does not show any place it does not show where it just says leader ability so let me just check let's say if i do that here get her out here someplace yeah so she's going to do that everywhere so this is everywhere all right that's great so she's going to increase the focus doesn't matter where you're going to use her she's going to increase the fo focus by 25 percent awesome great leader ability as well so uh from both the heroes that i have checked uh, that we have looked at now um i think like atara is a little bit more better in drift of chaos and naya i'll have to test her out to see where she's going to shine uh and hopefully we can test her out soon and i'll bring, get back to you with a new video uh, testing both atara and naya tomorrow i'm going to do the atara summons so uh, wait for it i will also be do not forget i'll also be giving some uh, giveaways on tomorrow's video so certainly keep a lookout for my video my summoning video keep a lookout for those give giveaways and yeah so that's it from me today so until next time Peace, love and blessings to all of you. Shinobi out. See you in the next video.